Hey everyone, today I'm going full magneto mode. Yep, we are going to break down how I create the mind blowing magnetic VFX from X Men. If you have ever wanted to control metal like the master of magnetism himself, stick around because this is going to be epic. So, Magneto's power is all about controlling magnetic field and manipulating metals. The VFX in X-Men have evolved over the years, from subtle floating object to massive metal bending and destruction. I wanted to capture that balance, making it look powerful but also grounded in the real world. So, I am inspired by this scene and want to recreate mine as well. And I'll show you how I did all that inside of Blender and After Effects. So buckle up and let's start the video. Before we dive in, here is what we are going to recreate today. <laughs> I've waited for like weeks, but every day I went to shoot the way that was just not on my side. So I guess we will just have to make full CG environment. Personally, let's download some cat 3D model and some stuff that we will paste in the scene. After that, I jump to Blender and sketch you and add this material to it. This load texture that I found online. I then added two plants, I'll sculpt them a little, which I will scatter the grass and the vegetation on them. I then created new vortex group and select the vortex which I want the particles to be scattered on. With the plane selected, I added here particle to them and choose the vortex group that I created and roughly created some grass. I then start creating tree in Blender using an add-on inside of Blender that it's called Sampling Tree. It took me some minutes to get the kind of look that I like. Luckily for me, there are some presets available in the add-on, so I just browse them and choose the one that was close enough to what I'm looking for and just tweak the settings L2. It was actually kind of fun. I then gave my tree a simple material with this leaf I found online and this tree branch. I then used the same technique and scattered the tree all over the scene using the particle system and the vortex group that I already created. And uh, I think the environment is really good so let's move on. I then opened up the effect and keyed out my footage. I imported the keyed footage to Blender using my best method which is import images as plane and imported a 3D model to match the scale. I then imported my cut 3D models that I downloaded from Sketchfab and cleaning up the empties that in Sketchfab 3D models normally comes with. Since the car are too far, I think I'll just animate it comes from forward just only on one axis it's not really that close that i have to rig the car and do some stuff i just admit the location simply for the car flooding i didn't use any rigid bodies i don't want to i don't want to make things complicated as they are i just simply animated the car to look like i was telekinesing them to create the car deformations you have to add a big cube Go to edit mode and subdivide it. You can now use shrink wrap modifier and select your car and apply it. Now select your car model, add mesh deform modifier, select the cube which shrink wrap the car and 
smash that bind button and wait for a few minutes. If it's done binding, we can now go to edit mode, select the cube and start deforming it and if you go to edit mode, you will see that our car is following the deformation. And for the other cars too, I simply just use location rotation keyframes to make them look like they were being pushed by my power. I didn't use the deformation method that I show you on, on all the cars. For some cars, I just use blender shape keys, which I talk about too much in, in this channel. Maybe you can check my videos to know more about it because I think it's easier than the one that I've showed you. To create the shattered glass, I simply select the glass and separate them from the car model. Go to edit mode and subdivide them and use the easiest way to explode things in Blender which is explode modifier. Then go to particle settings and increase the particle count to increase the count of the pieces that you want and add collision physics to the ground. And I think I'm pretty done so I rendered it out and brought it to after effect. Camera track it add some smoke puffs and uh, color grade with some lens distortion. It's distortion camera lens blur and uh, we are done.